Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor, and today we are going to be showcasing some of the fights from War 6 onward this season. Now, I ended up getting so far behind that I ran out of storage and I was not able to record all my fights. Uh, the, I believe I lost two whole wars. One was War 9, I think it was, and one was War 12. Uh, although I have like one fight from War 12 saved because when you run out of storage it stops the recording but it doesn't actually delete it unless you're fully out of storage so i still had enough for like a minute and a half of recording uh but basically what i'm going to be doing is i went through my videos and i thought what were the best fights or not necessarily the best fights because a lot of the really good fights i will not be showcasing just the fights i felt like i wanted to upload so there I didn't actually know that that last beam of Hulkling's SP-1 was a projectile. I thought it was like a hit that he does or like uh, like through contact. I had no idea that it was out like that um, when you're so far away, right? I thought that that would be more than enough space, so I didn't bother dashing back the extra time. Um, I have always have in the past. I don't know why I didn't, but anyways... Uh, we're trying to get him to block here. We're going in with Valk. Uh, I believe I have a total of about um, like nine or ten fights. Like I had so many Valkyrie fights because this season I had a total of 83 fights. I'd be willing to bet over 50 of those are with Valkyrie. Um, and Valkyrie fights always take super long. So I think in this video I only have maybe four uh, but trust me, she was by far the most commonly used attacker for me. So this is a Wong boss. And when I was taking this fight, this is in like the third or fourth war of the season. I had never seen Valkyrie take a Wong boss before. Um, and I actually asked around, I asked Fintech, he said he's never taken it either. So I went into this not really knowing what to expect. I know roughly how to fight Wong, uh, but he is a pretty complicated champion and he did come into the game at the time that I was retired. So it was definitely the time that I was paying less attention to the champions, uh, that, that were coming in the game because I wasn't even doing event quests, right? Like I was literally not playing at all or barely playing um and a, a lot of the time in this fight i will be hitting him directly um not a lot but a couple times so far and there's one more time right at the end of the fight uh but we got our three pierces up and we revert our combo to start building up bulwark i'm gonna wait until i believe i have three and i bait this sp1 no i'm actually not gonna wait just gonna throw it which is probably a mistake because had he thrown that sp1 there i would have lost a lot on the top of the time i have on my fury and there we go right there i lose the last half of my fury i could have gotten maybe two more combos off into his block while i had that fury uh but at this point we're in complete control uh now if you are in a master's alliance or you are in chats with a lot of people you'll know that valkyrie was actually bugged and couldn't fight wong in alliance war using a certain strategy like the strategy where you revert your combo and it would crash the game whenever you reverted your combo because uh the combo going down and you gaining a bulwark is what triggers the passive unstoppable on him and for some reason when that passive unstoppable triggers it crashes the game and that did end up getting fixed at the end of the season, but there were two or three wars right in the middle of the season where you just could not do it. This was before that bug happened. Now, I did take another Wong boss during that bug. So while that was going on, basically what I did uh, was I never reverted my combo. I only went for pierces. I had zero bulwarks. The fight took about 40 seconds longer because obviously your damage is gimped quite a bit. Uh, but we did get it down and right there I learned a valuable lesson at the end of that fight which is that in scenarios first off when you're facing a mystic because a mystic dispersion um, but also when there's damage back like that uh, you should not be um, doing a light attack after your sp1 because while that is 
generally speaking a good idea this is one of the scenarios i should not have done it uh and i lost half my health because of uh because i had to learn that lesson right so uh <laughs> i didn't end up doing that again this season although i occasionally do it in battlegrounds against mystics because i forget uh, but i am getting better at that that's definitely something i needed to practice uh this is emp modification uh, i believe Oh, excuse me, I just dropped my pen. Um, but this is the first node on the left side of section two, the, the first mini boss. And this is actually a rank five Sauron. This is a war against JA. Uh, this is a war we lost pretty badly. But um, I think this was war six, if I'm not misremembering. But I, I put in three fights here. In this war, I believe I had eight fights, and seven of them were against rank fives. So their defense is just insane. Uh, <laughs> like, they, they even the diversity defenders, they'll have rank five. Like, it's that crazy. Uh, but anyways, uh, I use Omega Sentinel quite a bit this season. She was definitely my second most used attacker. Um, I, I had her on my team pretty much every war. My team was usually her, Valk, and someone else. Sometimes Wag, sometimes Galen, sometimes someone for one random fight. Um, I brought Hood multiple times. I think I brought him three or four times this season for for use actually using him, although I didn't record. Or sorry, I, no, I didn't record. I didn't include any of those fights in here. So, uh, I believe this was my last Omega Sentinel fight of the war, so I wasn't too concerned because normally I would um, be evading the SP1 partially. I don't think I was in this video. Uh, but yeah, basically just get to a second SP2 and he's just dead. As long as you keep up the pauses, keep up a uh, heal block, you're okay in that fight. Uh, so now I'm showing off this fight. This is the only war I brought Galen. And the reason I only brought Galen is because he's a rank 3 Sig 20. And he's facing rank 5s. I used him for one more fight, which you did see there if you saw the map loading. It was that uh, I Doom mini. Which the, I think that one was EMP modification. I honestly forget. I don't know which one was. This is Buffet though. And... Uh, he is immune to buffet. So we're just going to be throwing SP1s now. Because I know that this is a rank 1 versus a rank 3. I know that I need pretty much all of my charges to kill him. So I'm going to be throwing a lot of specials. Uh, so here I had to go for 3 double mediums to make sure he got to that SP1 uh, at 15 charges. But yeah, in this fight I just wanted to take it real slow. Because I knew he's not going to heal in this fight. I knew that I'm immune to nullify. I just want to take it real slow. Build my charges and really not worry. I know there's no way I'm timing out with Galen. So uh, yeah. Uh, here. Just pushing him to 15 again. And then he did not want to throw the SP2. But there he is going to. Uh, but yeah. Basically this strategy is parry medium light medium spam sp1 until i'm at like 700 and then i can throw the heavy attack um so here push to another sp2 he throws it nicely uh and we're already at 20 of each buff so here i got to about 700 like i said and then we're going to throw the sp1 get us to 980 and that is going to kill 170,000. i think it was actually pretty close to not killing because i think his health pool was like 250k maybe 220k uh somewhere in there but anyways this was the war against ssx and this is uh vega's atuma on the path 5 node in the middle not that hard of a fight. Uh, this one, unlike the one on the node before, node 11, this one actually does not have heavy hitter, which is great because Omega Sentinel would not be able to take this fight if it didn't have heavy, heavy hitter. Unless you want to leave protection on the whole fight um, and just parry him with like a white mags prefet or intercept or something like that. Uh, but the the damage that you take back is really not that much. 
I was kind of surprised that it was not as much as I thought. Now I know I'm gonna about to lose the debuffs that I'm inflicting because of the clean slate node, but um, I was more I more threw that SP2 for the actual hit damage. But on this fight, you just want to keep baiting SP1s. Uh, if he gets an SP2, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a hard SP2 to to evade. But he does go down in under a minute, which is nice. And we'll go on to our second last fight, which is a Jessica Jones on the right side mini. Um, or wait, no. Is this the... No, this isn't the right side mini. This is the one that used to be Power Snap, which I believe is... Oh, what is this? 22? Is this 22? The Hazard Shift node with Aggression Prowess? Um... But yeah, Jessica Jones is a garbage defender. And I don't mean garbage like bad. I mean garbage in like a way that I hate fighting her so much that I'm just insulting her. <laughs> like she is a great, great defender. I just hate her because I don't have her, uh, essentially. But this fight is fairly simple. As long as you ev evade her SP1, if you try to block it, I have an invuln boost here on, it won't save you because a hit into your block does not have the damage eaten up by an invuln. So it's literally better in this fight to eat the SP1 to the face than to block it because blocking it, you will instantly die. But she's actually going down here faster than I thought. It's really not bad at all. Um, and I'm about to throw this SP2 and it's gonna oh, almost kill her. I just have to get her to dash back one more time, and there we go, she goes down in a minute and a half. Pretty happy with that, because I was pretty worried about that fight. Uh, but now we'll go on to the very last fight of the war, and I'm just gonna talk during this fight about, or last fight of the war, the last fight I'm showcasing for this season. This is a rank five Doom boss with uh, Valkyrie. Now, I had not seen this specific fight taken before, uh, but previous to this, I had taken Doom twice in War with Valkyrie, once on Path 5, Section 1, the Ebb and Flow Knockdown node, and once on node four, uh, 51, which is the 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 one where... Um, what's, it, what's it called? It's the thing with the prowess in your combos, like if you do two hits in a row, and then there's also the node where when the defender has prowess, they... Uh, like they do more damage into your block, they have block penetration. I don't know what the node's called, I just know it's node 51. Uh, but basically, during this fight, I'm going to talk about my season as a whole. So overall, in this season, I had 83 fights, 7 of which were bosses. So in 7 of the 12 wars, I took the boss. I only died once against a boss, and it was in war, I believe, 9. It, might, it was like 8 or 9, I don't remember. And it was a Baron Zima boss, and I went into it with the exact same strategy as War 1 or 2 when I took that fight, and it went perfectly. I didn't get hit. I soloed him, um, and I ate an SP1 early in the fight because I threw my light attack to try to make him block while he had an SP1 because I thought it was safe to hit into his block, and I I guess like I wasn't fully paying attention to his like how he was standing and I f turns out he wasn't blocking so when I went in to hit him he threw the sp1 that got all of the uh, invulnerability charges gone they were all gone after that and then I uh, I took a combo right at the end I think he was at like 15 percent health and it was the first time I was getting hit that fight I had an otherwise flawless fight um, other than the SP1 I took at the start of the fight. Uh, but anyways, uh, so that makes my PSR 79 out of 83, which is 95%. And given that I died, I think, twice in my first five wars, only dying twice in my last seven, okay. Now, to my standards, that is not a good season. I want to be clear, this is a bad season for me. But the reason I'm okay with it is is because I was retired for eight months. Okay, I am obviously going to be rusty when I come back. I'm going to need my time to settle back into the 
into Alliance War, and I do think I'm going to be better next season. Um, but, yeah, it was just... It was very clear that I was rusty. The deaths I was having were not deaths from assignments. They were deaths from me making bad mistakes and fatal mistakes in otherwise winnable fights. All of them, all of my deaths were from that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I want to go into next season trying to settle in a little more and just trying to get back to back to me, basically. Uh, but that is all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next season. Have a great day.